morning, konnichiwa. Your fruit's here. What kind of fruit? Melon. You're gonna have to pay for it, it's very expensive. How much? One, you got one melon. No, how much is the melon? If you have to ask, I'm gonna have to take my melon back. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, fine, I'll pay for it. Just okay, good, coming. good, good, good. It comes with its own little uh, blanket. Wait, it's got like crazy rabbits on it. Yeah, I also sat on the bag on the way home. Oh. Have you ever seen a fruit wrapped up like, like I've seen like very expensive like bottles wrapped up like this, but not a fruit. Pull this bag off me. This is like the black box of doom. Yeah, take your sniff. Mm -hmm. This flew all the way from Japan. You know that? Okay, now get out of the frame. Ah. We happy? Yeah, we happy. Ladies and gentlemen, the thing that ruins every fruit cup. The thing that your dog likes the smell, but you don't really. This is a honeydew melon that would sell at auction for a lot of money. In fact, one sold this year for 5 million yen, AKA $45,000. This one's not that one, but thanks for the reminder that I didn't wear deodorant. That's really nice, thank you. Look at the netting on this thing. Like it looks like a little candy. This is appreciation day because I personally hate melon. I don't hate melon. I just would never go for it. You know what I mean? Like strawberries exist, mangoes exist, blueberries, blackberries, mangosteen, like what even, like how? I don't understand how. So we're gonna figure out why this is so expensive and we're gonna give it a little try, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna give it a little taste and a little yummy. I like to look things up like the most expensive chocolate in the world and the most expensive fruit in the world just because I'm curious. And I was like, why? A melon. A melon? Like, I've heard of the expensive strawberries, I've heard of the expensive tangerines, but like, a melon? Why are melons at the top of the list? I had this question, and apparently a lot of people had this question because So Expensive, a series by Business Insider, covered this very melon. We're gonna figure out why these are so expensive, then we're gonna try it out. From the Yubari King to the Andes, the Higo Green Melon, and many more. I think this is what I have. Like, mine looks like a Yubari, and the Yubari apparently, it's like the heavyweight, okay? The fruit isn't traditionally something you'd pick up as a snack in Japan, but is a luxury that often plays a big part in Japan's gift-giving culture. How cute is it? The gift-giving culture of giving fruit? I really like that. Like, imagine, like, someone coming over, like, as a housewarming present, being like, I brought you a very expensive fruit. Like, that is so nice. I just think it's so charming how, like, here in North America, if we even bring gifts in the first place, it's usually, like, alcohol. Imagine, like, hey, I brought you a designer melon. Wow. It's very sweet. It doesn't take up too much space. You guys can all eat it together. It's just such a sweet gift. I just don't like melon. And they're not just admired for their taste, but for their looks as well. Do not tell me that this thing is just expensive because of its looks. I don't know if you guys can tell from there, but mine has very similar netting as this. Like, and it's got like the tan outside and the teal inside. And I just think it's such a pretty color combination. I've never seen a honeydew with this kind of netting. Go into a high-end fruit store in Tokyo and you're likely to see their signature stickers. A high-end fruit store? The melons are only grown in Shizuoka Prefecture in central Japan and can cost you over $200 each. Unlike the $5 mass-produced melons you're likely to come across in a Western supermarket, crown melons take constant care and attention to grow. What? So this is like the Wagyu beef of melon. I'm guessing from beginning to end, like it's a very involved process. How much different would the taste be if you're getting involved with the process? Like, do these guys like sing to it? One characteristic of the melon here in Shizuoka is we make it in a raised bed. Keeping it separate from the ground is important. But why? We do it this way to be able to harvest all year round. I'm guessing that if they don't raise it, it only would grow a certain time of year and then it would be even more expensive. I can't imagine this being more expensive than it already was. Tell us more about the melons. Each melon takes 100 days to grow and the fruit is grown all year round. A hundred days to grow? Wait, I have to, like, how long does it take a normal honeydew to grow? With a regular honeydew melon, it takes 65 to 100 days to grow as well. Hmm. Crown melons have four grades, Fuji, Yama, Shiro, and Yuki. Ooh. Any melons with even minor defects are marked as Yuki. Are you a Yuki? Then the top three grades are marked on their sugar content and perfect appearance. 55% of the melons make Shiro grade, the third grade. 25% are Yama, 
and only 0.1% or one in a thousand of all melons harvested are graded as Fuji. Okay, I don't think I have a Fuji on my hands. The thing that I find very interesting here is that the ones with perfect netting sell more, but I feel like the flavor profile like on the of the top three are like all quite similar. So really you're paying for an art piece as opposed to paying for a better tasting melon. These guys grow like a big crop. All of these melons grow and then they write their exams and only some of them get A's. Then you keep the A's. Then they write another exam and then only some of those get A's and you keep those. Like there are a lot of poor melons are getting le left out here. For you, what did you do? This work is all done entirely by hand and it isn't just about getting the taste right, but perfecting the appearance too. As the fruits get larger on each plant, they are carefully wrapped in white paper to protect them. What? Okay, yeah, tell us about the net. In here we make it on a bed like this, artificially making the melon larger to have the net pattern. So this guy wasn't supposed to have the net? Japanese people decide the price depending on how beautiful this net pattern is. I feel like at the highest level, it's about what she looks like on the outside. Hmm. Personally, I feel like the most tasty one should be the one that sells for the most, but maybe they can only get it so tasty and then the distinguishing factor is the net. Rapid change of climate causes big cracks or no cracks and controlling that temperature and humidity is the hardest part of raising these melons. This is like raising a litter of German shepherds who are very like sensitive and vulnerable to humidity and temperature. This is crazy. The amount of resources and time and care that goes into these melons. That's one of the things that makes it most expensive. It's a melon, but it's almost like an art piece. I mean, I think that's really sweet. He really looks like he loves melons. Look at the way he looks at those things. Each melon is even massaged and polished by hand. Massaged? These melons are treated better than I'm treated. Like if I was treated this well, I'd, I'd be pregnant actually. <laughs> That's not funny. One mistake of amount of water, one day, that makes the melon deteriorate. Okay, so even one mistake, even one extra drop of water makes the melon deteriorate. We grow crappy honeydew. Do you want to try our crappy honeydew or our NA honeydew? Grow the melon like the sons or daughters. Okay, I think this guy's going a little crazy to justify the price. They're growing it like their sons or daughters and they talk to them. I don't think we have to go that far. I think all we have to do is say they work really hard on it and that's a good enough answer for me. But the work of the agricultural cooperatives also keeps their prices high. The there Shizuoka Crown Melon Company oversee the distribution and checks on melons from over 200 farmers. They ensure that the quality remains high and that the prices aren't under. Look at the juice coming out of that when you cut it. The resulting taste is undeniably incredible. Each fruit has a complex balance of flavors and is perfectly juicy This ain't the dry melon I've been eating growing up. But you'll have to decide for yourself whether the high price is worth it for the taste. I will have to decide for myself whether the high price is worth it for the taste. Consumers are willing to pay to ensure that their gift is perfect, especially knowing the work that has gone into producing them. It's actually kind of cringe how like this is meant to be a gift and that's why it's so expensive and I bought it for myself. I think it's time to try our little baby boy right here. This really, really, really talked it up and I hope it's good. It said like the taste is undeniable. I find it interesting that, you know, I paid so much extra for netting. This is just one of those times where it's fun to be a YouTuber because no way I'd ever be able to justify this. Let's go, girls. It's getting this sticker. Is it just me or is this thing kind of heavy? It feels like when your stomach's full of water. You know when your stomach's full of water and you like kind of mix it around and you can like hear the liquid. That's what I feel like this is. Okay, look how beautiful this, like, look at this little thing. It's like got two little antennas. It does look like an art piece. Do these not look like they could go on like the same thing? These three look like they would be on a display together. Oh, Karen, that's a beautiful shelf you have there. Very decorative. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye. Ow, that's kind of prickly. I don't know how to cut a honeydew. Like, should I just be ignorant about this and just go whichever way I want? I'm gonna be ignorant about it. Look how shiny juicy that is. This smells like a honeydew candle. It smells like like the everything about honeydew, but like amped. Like, you know how like fragrance or like perfume of something does that? That's what this is like. Oh, are you supposed to eat the seeds? I don't think so. But now we can just grow our own. Oh, that's what you pay the money for. You pay the money for the seeds and you steal the seeds. I'm gonna actually steal some of these seeds. But then you have to massage it. No, you don't. We don't care if the honeydew is pretty. We care about the sugar and water content. I'm just gonna steal some of these seeds. Should probably get that up close. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Get out. I wonder if I could give these seeds to my mom and be like, yo, 
Call me in a year. Honey, you better be ripe and juicy. Wait, it take a hundred days. Oh yeah, call me in a year. Better have three times the batches. So I texted my mom today and I was like, hey mom, I have like this really expensive honeydew and I don't know if I can eat the whole thing. Do you want half? And she was like, no, we already cut ourselves a melon today. Like, you know honeydew isn't very good when you offer somebody a honeydew worth several hundred dollars and they're like, I don't think so. I already threw the honeydew that was in my fruit cup away, so. But thanks for the offer. Should I like cut this watermelon style? Yeah. Ooh. I'm sorry, I don't know if this is how you cut honeydew. I've never had honeydew in my house. I don't like it, but I've never had it like this before. She ain't never had it like this before. <laughs> that is candy. This is nature's candy. I had to eat a seed, I had to try one. The seeds taste like pumpkin seeds and they're also probably not edible. This is so juicy. <laughs> What? It's just juicy. It's just, it's exploding. When you take a bite of this, you can't just take it like a normal fruit where you're just like, <sighs> you have to bite, inhale, but <sighs> otherwise you lose half of the juice. Mmm. I gotta say that is, oh, I could eat the whole thing. You're going in again? That's a brand I'm, new piece. I know. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've never been able to say that about any sort of melon before, but this is very, very good. And it is so sweet and sugary that my fingers are getting sticky the way that they get when I'm eating a mango. Like a good mango, not like a crappy N.A. mango, like a good, like a Pakistan mango. <laughs> what? Never heard of a Pakistan mango. Oh, they got the mangoes over there. You ever heard of a mango before? <laughs> Is this disgusting to watch? No, I think people will like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so good. This is like what honeydew had the potential to be and we all were tormented by having those dry, crappy honeydews in our fruit cups that traumatized us. This is undoing a lot of trauma for me and I might even be able to eat bad honeydews to remember this. Kind of like how like when you go to Asia and then you come back home and you eat crappy versions of things to like kind of remember what you ate in Asia, this might be doing that to me. <sighs> The only way to eat this, and I've never done this before, the only way to eat this might be doing this. <laughs> what? Been with you for 10 years and never seen you eat like that. <laughs> okay. Am I not attractive anymore? No, it must be damn good. <laughs> Terry's crying. Here, have some. I can't say that I ate half a honeydew today. Isn't that so so good. Wow, yeah, that's great. Well, how would you describe it? If you ever had a bite of honeydew and you're like, oh, that's good. No, wait, oh, yeah, ugh. Yeah, no, that's yeah. gross. Mm -hmm. the, it's like all of the good parts without the bad Yeah, stuff. yeah, that is a great way of describing it. It's like all of the good parts of a honeydew minus the bad that turned you off when you were eating it in an airport from a fruit cup. I feel like it gets a bad rep because of fruit cups because like when else do you have honeydew that's the only time i ever have honeydew is like in a fruit cup and it makes everything else taste like melon and it's gross because when you eat a strawberry you just want to taste the strawberry but then the honeydew is like ah, ah, and you're just like okay like i know like chill and it's like ah, and he's like would you like to hear me sing and you're like no i don't want to hear you sing and he's like when a man there's a woman and then you throw the fruit cup out and you never eat fruit again that's the honey do experience you it's good <laughs> long story short um it's all right <laughs>